Let's talk about sports. There has, for a long time, been this tension between church attendance and sports. We can talk about the viewing of sports, specifically football, and the way it commands our schedule and determines our church attendance, but that's a topic for a different day. Today, what I want to talk about is your kid playing sports. I'm going to shoot straight with you, and I'm not going to beat around the bush. Uh, I love sports. I was an avid athlete and competitor. I loved to win. I uh, played on multiple travel teams growing up and was a four-year varsity letterman in soccer, two-year varsity letterman in football. I love sports, and I've played a lot of them. But when we look at kids' sports today, it's on a whole other level. The intensity of <clears throat> coaches and parents, the level of competitiveness, the amount of money and time and family resources that get put into it, it almost seems to take the fun out of sports and turns it into something it was never meant to be. I feel like this intensity has also contributed significantly to the number and severity of injuries in kids who play sports. Growing up, I can't remember, honestly, a single friend tearing an ACL or an MCL. I remember some concussions and broken bones and some other injuries, some major, some minor, but the number of injuries today is honestly a little worrisome. Two of the GOATs, the greatest of all time, one in football and one in basketball, have this to say. Tom Brady in 2019 said, I think playing all the multiple sports was so great. I played a lot of basketball, a lot of baseball, a lot of football, a lot of dodgeball, kickball. I wasn't very good in English or math or any of those things, but pretty good with the ball in my hands. Now, I think so many people are into these intense sports at such young ages. And I think the burnout factor for a lot of people and a lot of kids starting at a young age, that definitely happens. Kobe Bryant said in 2019 as well, playing multiple sports is really important. He told this to uh, Tom Farr. He, he's a, an executive director of the Aspen Institute Sports uh, and Society Program. And he said, one of the things that Phil Jackson used to say is you always look for players who grew up playing multiple sports because of their footwork and their understanding of concepts is broader. So first of all, one thing that we learn is, is that diversifying sport involvement is helpful and even desirable from the perspective of college and professional coaches. Don't cash in all in one sport. Encourage your kid to play more than one. Second, we also see that the, the odds of your kid going pro in any sport is really a tiny percentage. According to the National Collegiate Athletic Association, the NCAA, uh, roughly one in 168 high school baseball players will get drafted by an MLB team. And just one in 2,451 men's high school basketball players will get drafted by an NBA team. Tom Ferry, the guy I mentioned earlier that interviewed Tom Brady, he said, or he wrote this book called Game On, The All-American Race to Make Champions of Our Children. And he wrote, the difference is that a lot of parents today see those odds and say, well, I'd better get started early with my kid. He references Kobe Jones, who's a sports broadcaster and former professional soccer player who competed in the Olympics and three World Cups. He was elected to the 2011 National Soccer Hall of Fame. And he said this, uh, Kobe Jones said, wanting your child to be a college athlete or even play sports professionally is a great goal to have. But I think it needs to be tempered with a sense of understanding that most likely your kid is not going to be a professional player. In fact, Jones himself doesn't put that pressure on his own kids very intentionally because it doesn't matter to him whether his kids become great soccer players or professionals. He just wants them to love sports and to benefit from being part of a team. So if I can encourage you to think about the priorities you have for your kid or your kids, are they aligned in the right place? Do you want your kid to go pro or get a scholarship or succeed at some higher level in the sport they play? It's not a bad thing. But if it comes at the expense of their spiritual growth and their relationship with Jesus, I think it becomes what the Bible calls an idol. It may be an idol that your kid has, and it may be an idol that you as a parent have. Sports pulls at our human design to worship, but sports is a false god that will leave you wanting. You can be a fully devoted follower of Jesus and an amazing professional athlete. They aren't mutually exclusive, but when you pursue athlete at the expense of disciple, that is a cost you may not want to pay years down the road. I can't even imagine having more than one kid and the grueling family schedule that brings as well. So the question becomes, how is your family involvement with sports enabling or hindering your ability to disciple your family in the way of Jesus? Because that's actually the more important thing. Thank you, Ben, for that message. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of Fridays Are For Families. We place a high value on discipleship, especially in the home because we believe that strong disciples are made at home. 
That is why we have a heart to do what we can to empower and equip you to grow as a disciple of Jesus yourself and a disciple maker of your kid. If you have specific questions for information you would like to hear about, we invite you to share them with us, either commenting on this video or on YouTube or Facebook, or by emailing us at family at lifeofpathway.com. See you next week.